Hello again, whiskey friends. It's Kelsey here in the Whiskey Riff Lounge coming to you, giving you another review today. Today we're going to be talking about a new brand that I didn't even know existed as far as this particular series of it. So we're going to get into that in just a moment. So stick around. We're going to uh, dive into the exceptional series by Rare Character. Let's get to it, guys. See you in a couple of seconds. <laughs> Welcome back, guys, uh, here in the Whiskey with for Lounge. My name is Kelsey. Thanks for joining in today. Man, it's so fun to do these stuff with you guys. I hope that you guys are enjoying it as much as we are. Uh, today, we're going to be doing this bottle right here called the Exceptional Series. Now, this is a new series, that, to my knowledge, a relatively new series from Rare Character. Um, what they're doing is they're sourcing some other whiskeys that are a little bit older and... Uh, some of these we know about, some we can't really say for sure. This being one of them, it comes out at 102 proof, and um, this is going to be 12 years old. So as we get into this review, I think that I have a good idea of the possibility of where this is coming from. I've heard a couple different things, but we'll get into that as we kind of break it down. So let's get into the nose on this one. Again, this is 102 proof, 12 years old. So right off the nose, it's either Beam or Heaven Hill. <laughs> I mean, it's got that. I, I tend to lead Beam because it's a little sweeter on the peanut note. Um, and it's got a little bit of fruit. But that peanut, like peanut brittle note, is more like what's prominent. Um, reminds me of some of those uh, Knob Creek store picks that were like 14 and 15 years old back in the day when you could actually get those. Um, but right up front, real sweet peanut caramel toffee it's got a fabulous nose right off the bat man this thing it's got a lot of depth it's getting a little bit darker a little bit more dense and you can tell it's older um the oak profile on this one is um kind of a little bit subdued but not like that it's not there it's just um it's not really on the front of the nose. I think you're going to get more of that on the palate. So let's check that out. Here's the front of the palate. Cheers, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Hmm. Yeah. I'm, I'm thinking that that's beam 100%. I could be wrong, but it's one of those two, and this one leans way more beam than Heaven Hill just because of the, the way that the, the peanut profile comes across. It's not um, it's not dusty, per se. It's more like sweet, like a peanut brittle. If you guys haven't eaten peanut brittle, it's got all that caramel and toffee note flavor to it right up front. Mid-palate, uh, I'll get into it in just a second, but for right off the bat, the first taste, mid-palate, Follows the front, but it adds a little bit more to the oak. So let's check that out and see what's going on mid-palate for you. Yeah, it kind of follows suit uh, to the front of the palate. While I'm talking about that, I wanted to give a shout-out to the ones and only Ethan and Katie Turk. Thank you guys for helping me achieve, uh, get this bottle. This is a sexy, sexy bottle, man. I love this, the... Uh, labeling and the coloring on this thing solid black bottle with that gold man it just pops out really really nice so back to the mid palette you're getting all the depth of the flavor of the oak on the mid palette um, it really hits strong mid palette into the finish up front you get all the sweetness but really the depth uh, of this whiskey comes across mid palette into the finish So, man, that's good. Boy, you just get more and more every time you sip on it. You find something else a little bit more prominent. And this time, that peanut note, uh, the sweet peanut note with caramel is, is really making itself known. It's coating. It's really, really coating. Super long finish. For 102 proof, man, this thing's got super, super long finish. Still going. 
still going. Rice spine is coming in just a little bit towards the end, which is odd. Normally I get that like right off before the oak, but it's kind of reversed in this one. Super long finish. I mean, this thing is just dripping down the glass. Super viscous. Man, this is uh, this is really, really good. I will say, I haven't learned much about this because I just found it out and I wanted to do a review so that I could get it out. People have ever heard of it, or maybe you guys have heard of it. If you have, put it in the notes. They also one, had another one of these that I didn't get that was a Kentucky malt whiskey, which I hear is supposed to be the leftovers of Parker's barrels, which would be interesting to try. Uh, I'll definitely get a sample from the Turks on that, but man, this one is exceptional. It, it, it is it lives up to its name. It is an exceptional whiskey. Um, now this does uh, come out price-wise to about 156 I think is what I paid for it for retail. So it is a little bit more expensive, but to me, you guys are be paying $15, $150 for a 15-year-old Knob Creek. 15. It's not a single barrel. So this is batched as well. So it's kind of along those same type of lines. Granted, we don't know for sure that this is Jim Beam, but I'd be really, really uber surprised if this wasn't. Um, great whiskey, no matter what. Rare Character is doing these. Um, now, like I said, I haven't seen these a lot. Uh, these sold out in like a day or day and a half, if I remember right. So if you see these, you might grab them anyway um, and give them a try. Like I literally say, I know it's a little, it's a more expensive bottle. If you've got the budget for it and you see this thing out, don't hesitate. These things are very, very good. Let's go and break down the score on this one and let's see where it came out. So we're looking at a flavor score of 90, super high for me. Uh, experience score is an 82. The value is still pretty, pretty good at an 80. I mean, you're still getting pretty close to a 10 year, um, or $10 per year, excuse me, on this being that it's a 12 year and I paid 150. So, uh, it's in line with where the market is. Do I like that? No, but it is what it is. So overall, very good, uh, whiskey and pretty good value for what you're getting, but I will say that um, this one really did surprise me. Ethan and Katie were tabbing this very high. So I cracked this a couple of days ago, cut, took a couple of pours, gave some to some friends, let them try it. Um, everybody really, really agreed. This is very high on my list for 2023 as far as what I've tasted so far. Mm. Very, very good. So wrapping this up, guys, the 12 year. I believe bean product, great balance. This thing from mid palate to the finish is killer. Really, really good. If, Like I said, if you see these out, make sure you pick them up. Very worth the price, in my opinion. Um, like I said, it drinks more like one of those old KC picks that were like 14 and 15 years old. I mean, it's really, uh, really good. I wish that we could get those again for 50 and 60 bucks. Man, those were just killer. But exceptional series by rare character thank you guys for hanging out with me listening to me ramble a little bit make sure you hit like and subscribe make sure you put those comments down below if you guys have, are seeing these what you're seeing them for i'd like to know if the ranges in price uh in different areas if you guys are seeing these make sure you put that down below i'd love to know that and thank you guys for hanging out with us uh thank you for all of our patrons who helped make this channel happen and thank you for watching this video we'll see you guys next time jeff just be friends with me, but you have these whiskey friends, and you say hello again. Oh, Jeffrey, you should just be friends with me.